Okay, so this video will be about conditional questions. So let me explain you what I mean. We have this Google form and we have this first section that's gonna ask the user for their email, their name, for their zip code. And then we have the second section with some technical questions, I guess. And then we have these comments. So I'm gonna move these comments to a separate section. I'm gonna go on the right here and I'm going to just simply duplicate this technical questions section and this is fine. So we want to remove this comments. And then from this third one, we don't want this one. And we also don't want this. So we just want comments. Okay, so that's our new form. So now what I want to do, I want to have another section here on top before the main section and this technical questions section. And that's simply gonna ask the user, do they use spreadsheets? So let's add a new section and we're going to move, and this is the last one. We're going to move that over here, hit save. So we need to move this comments box to our notes. That's our section four. Then we have this spreadsheet application. And then finally, we have this new section. Let's name this overview. Now we're gonna add a question to this section by hitting this plus. And the question is going to be, do you use spreadsheets? And see how smart it is. It gives you a suggestion to do yes, no, maybe as option. You could obviously go here and type those, but I'm just gonna use that to my advantage. Yes, no, and I'm gonna remove this maybe option, which is the last one. Okay, so now we have this yes and no. Now what I want to happen, if somebody clicks no, I don't want them to answer this second questions about their favorite spreadsheet and which spreadsheet application do they use because they already said they don't use spreadsheets, right? So if they click yes, that I do want them to answer these questions. So I have this conditional logic. If you click yes, it should go here. If you click no, it should skip this technical questions and go to section four. So to do this, I'm gonna go to this section and in this section, I'm gonna click here in this corner and then do this go to section based on answer. And see, if they answer yes, then I'm going to send them to the next section. The next section is, well, the next one, this one, that's good. If they answer no, I'm gonna have to skip the next section, which is gonna be technical questions, and I'm gonna send them to notes. Now, obviously, instead of saying next question, I could have also just said, send it to technical questions, that's also fine. I guess that's what I'm gonna do. If you do yes, it's gonna send them to technical questions. Otherwise, we're gonna send them to notes if they answer no in this section. Now, one thing to note here is that if you didn't have any other questions, and let's say if they answer no, we don't want them to answer technical questions, and we also don't want them to enter notes, so basically they're done with the form. So in that case, you could just say, instead of go to section four, just say submit form. And that would be the last step for this user. But for me, I do want them to add notes. So that's gonna be this. Let's take a look, preview. Ah, you've already responded. I limited this to one response. So I'm gonna have to disable that. So we can test this, preview. Here we go, this is our first step, so some email, name, zip code, hit next. This takes us to this, it says to use spreadsheets. 
I'm gonna say no, hit next, and see jumped over that entire section. Now comments, no comment. I'm gonna hit submit and response went through. Now it's interesting to note here if you remember that for this technical question section, we did make this questions required, but because we're skipping that section, it's gonna let it go through, even though you mark it as required. Now I'm gonna do this again, I'm gonna close this. Now let's try to answer yes and see what happens. I go here, email, zip code, Do you use spreadsheets? Yes. Next. And now we have our technical questions. So we can answer. Our questions hit next and submit. And there it is. So as you can see, it's pretty easy. All you have to do is just create multiple sections, and then what you want to do, you want to have multi-choice type of question, and once you do that, go here, and then choose go to section based on answer, and then based on that, just choose wherever you want the person to go depending on the answer. So from all of these different choices for question boxes, there are only two that will support this conditional way to move through your sections. And that's gonna be either multiple choice or drop down. You can do the same thing with a drop down. So if I do a drop down, then I'll be able to do this too. See? Any other type will not support it. So for example, if I do a checkbox here, if I try, see there's no option for me to move conditionally to different sections. And that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching, please subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.